Badass Brooklyn Animal Rescue started with one person fostering one dog in a one bedroom apartment. Once you start, it's very hard to stop because the deluge of dogs about to be killed for no other reason than overpopulation is just never ending and completely overwhelming. Every picture of a dog in a shelter is depressing, right? It doesn't really matter where, but I think when you see it in real life, some of these pounds are outdoor with no running hot water. So the dogs get diseases that are totally preventable. Then you'll have shelters that will just put down the whole shelter because they just want to clean it out. So they just put down all the dogs. I always say that rescuing dogs from high kill pounds is like trying to empty the Mississippi with a teacup. And you feel very disempowered. You think, well, there's world leaders or there's big nonprofits or somebody's gonna do something about this. And what I have discovered is that's us. We're the people that are gonna do something about it. So for the first several months, it was just me, you know, pulling a couple dogs at a time. But four years later, we've rescued over 1,400 dogs. We have dozens of foster homes, dozens of active volunteers. When I started seeing the dogs that I had saved living great lives, it made me feel a sense of empowerment that nothing else has given me. I would love more than anything to have my life back and to not have to rescue dogs every day. And I wish that in my lifetime, we would get to a point where it isn't necessary to save dogs from death row. But right now, it is. People say when you save a dog's life, it's not changing the whole world, but it's changing the whole world for that dog, and it's changing the whole world for that adopter. It's you! He's ours today. You're mine!